Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Everyone wave goodbye to Team of the Season and wave hello to Path to Glory and FC24 today. It is time that we turn the page. Tots has been going on for long enough, and after yesterday's start to the new season of Festival of Football, with great to the game icons, Path to Glories, and even end of an era players in this game right now, things are looking up for FC24. Today we'll cover everything we expect to see on a massive promo Friday and how it might impact the market and some of these ultimate tots cards that a lot of you guys are wanting to buy for your teams. Also, big news yesterday, we tried the UFL beta live on stream and I'll share a little bit at the end of the video what that is about because today is when it opens up. So a lot of stuff going on in the real football world and on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's Thursday SBC content because we did actually have some really interesting things and of course the new season. First of all, we got the upgrade pack, guys. We got the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed Pack, and it was three squads. Makes sense, right? Most expensive, biggest upgrade pack yet. They drop it for three squads. It's your second best shot of getting a really good Ultimate Team of the Season player, to be honest, guys. I mean, it's a must-do for the try. I did not get anybody good from this yesterday. I packed Mares as a duplicate from this, but I know a lot of people that packed players like Vinny Jr. and even of like the middle tier of the cards, like Musiala, um, Lauren James, Martinez. I mean, those are really, really good cards. But in terms of the price, like a lot of the two to three hundred thousand coin cards, like Declan Rice, even we saw a couple times yesterday, it was worth the shot, right? So it's out for a couple more days if you want to get it done. And those cards are not going any. Anywhere. They're going out of packs, but they're going to be sticking around with the rewards that we saw continually updated again yesterday. They're still a part of it, though. Ultimate Tots cards. So um, with that, though, I'm kind of disappointed that I forgot to mention fodder as a really good trading opportunity yesterday. I know we mentioned it last week, and I don't know if any of you guys bought fodder cards because we talked about this ultimate tots coming out yesterday but of course on thursdays always fodder is dropping guys 88s went from 10k down to 7k all the way back to 11,000 coins that is a absolutely insane one day swing for the fodder so if you have some left in your club might be a good time to get out of that because once again today friday's the weekend always see a lot of supply and that fodder will most likely drop but it did go up after that sbc specifically yesterday now now, we had also yesterday, not one, but two end-of-an-era player SBCs. Shetri is an Indian striker, and he has got a 96-rated card. Four-star, five-star with 97 pace, 94 physical. A lot of people were looking at this one as just a fun card to complete for some finesse shots, and I totally agree with that. But even if you're not interested in using this guy in-game who's kind of a legend, I was not aware, but now I'm becoming aware of the legend of Sunil Shetri. Uh, guys, this is the cheapest 96 rated card in the game. He's only 60,000 coins, one squad to do, an 87 rated squad, really easy to get done. And like I said, he is the cheapest 96 in the game by like, 20 or 30k worth so he's worth doing with some extra fodder that you might round up in the next couple of days the other end of an era that we had was hasebe kind of reminds me of the ito card or the radioactive evo that people did for ito earlier on this year you could have these two guys in your defense in the back line anticipate plus pinged pass and slide tackle plus for hasebe 4-4 medium high work rates not a bad card good play styles a lot of passing play styles for a center back he also has technical which is not oftenly used on a center back. He's also a CDM though, so maybe that's part of the reason why. It's a good card. A little bit low on the physical, I just noticed. 82 physical. Um, he only has 81 strength, but hey, if that's a card that interests you, it is there and it is pretty cheap. Last thing to talk about on SBCs is we had marquee matchups yesterday, and I do believe there were some cards that were going up a little bit in price for this. I forget what it was. Maybe it was it was like Icelandic players. I'm not entirely sure who it was. Maybe it was Portuguese or Croatian, but that is their tradable packs always for marquee matchups. Not too bad. So those are the SBCs that we had yesterday. Now the big hype and all the big stuff going on was in objectives, guys, because the first Path to Glory cards were actually dropped yesterday and there's a ton of them. Scrolling through this season, it is one of those W seasons where the players are better to take than the packs. Look at this. Who would rather have an 82 times 2 
than a 91 rated ratio card. Even if you never intend to use this card in the game, it's a live upgrading path to glory card. And we have the exchanges, which actually exchanges are set to go away today. They should return because the last time exchanges went away, they came back right away. So I'm hoping that that is a part of uh, today's content as well. That's something we're really, really closely watching because exchanges are such a crucial part of this game. I think they're going to come back. I'm not worried about it. I hope that EA release higher rated exchanges like a 90 and a 91 or 92. We'll just have to see what they do there, but that is definitely a part of today's content. Now, guys, the players are 100% the choice here, even if you don't even think you're going to use the player, again, for fodder, maybe for some sort of objective, which actually there is objectives that you need these players for. Season 7 play, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says win three ultimate team matches with at least four players from the Season 7 ladder in your starting 11. So maybe it's not that important right now because you have 34 days to get this, but if you're trying to get a lot of the XP straight out of the bat, it's worth it to keep these players just to put in for a couple squad battles games and get that XP, of course, on the rise. You've got, of course, a lot of the Euro 2024 and Copa America stuff inside of here. Stadium themes, TFOs, and a lot of these cards look solid. To Sangoff, 91 rated, looks like a decent super sub at level 8. You've got Vicario, my Spurs keeper. He's at level 10. There's so many cards in here, guys. This Tapia card from, uh, is this Peru? I'm getting my countries mixed up here. This is this is Peru. Four star, five star, medium high work rates with anticipate aerial and block. He can also play in the midfield. That's a really, really good card uh, for just 13 levels of this game. Hysage is in there as well, level 15. This is where it gets good. Level 17 with Brozovic. He looks solid. I guess it gets good a little bit after this. Level 19 with Tierney. He looks solid. The Cold Palmer celebration is at level 20, so not a lot of us are going to get there super quick, but that's where that is. Okay, this is where it gets good. Level 21, Florian Balligan. What a card this is. Four star, five star for him. USA, live card. I did want to mention that once again. Also, this is something that I wasn't aware of earlier, but these cards actually get boosted chemistry, and I haven't confirmed this myself because I haven't got Got any of them but this is a screenshot from unique riggers on twitter and he put this cespedes card which is the level one card in a squad and it gets two chem points automatically and when you put another player in who doesn't have any other chemistry links but is the same nation as another copa or euro path to glory player they also go to two chemistry points because of the boost that the path to glory card gives so that is even more hype in my opinion for these Path to Glory cards that they give a boosted chemistry to the squad. That is so cool, right? So level 21, you've got Balogun here. You've got Dudek at level 22. Again, that's a hero card that is live upgrading for the goals. Remember, it's the goals that matter. So if Poland scores two, he goes to a plus one. If Poland score four, Dudek is going to go either to a 99 rated stat or he's going to get a fourth play style plus. I think that's what it is, right? Well, Dudek is probably going to go to a 99 stat because they don't give goalkeepers play style pluses. Now, Jimenez at level 24 looks like a really solid card there. Young Jonathan Klaus, level 25. I think this is going to be a card that we see in people's teams a lot uh, once this card gets released. I know he's only 4-4, but he's always good in game. He's got Anticipate Plus. He's got Intercept, Whipped Pass, and Relentless Plus, which is very, very good. That's a great card. Level 26, an absolutely cracked Alexis Sanchez, 5-star, five 5-star five with Finesse Plus. He always is cracked in game, so that's a really dope card there. Level 29, people are really excited about this Bernardo Silva. And again, something to mention, guys, that these cards are upgraded, and some of them might be even upgraded by the time we get to level 29. Bernardo Silva might have already won a game and got up to a 95-rated card, you know? And that's huge, right? This card is... Four-star, five-star with Anticipate, Incisive, and Relentless Plus with, I think, all but one of the passing play styles. Insane card. This Bernardo is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, there's no pack options for Bernardo and beyond when it comes to these players. Rafinha, 95-rated Rafinha card, going to upgrade for Brazil. That card looks insane. They didn't make him five-star, five-star. That was a little bit of the unfortunate part. Um, and then you've got a Memphis Depay upgrading for the Netherlands. He's back here. And then this is what everybody's talking about. Level 34. You've got a four-play style plus. End of an era. Tony Cruz, the card that everybody's been asking about as an SBC this last week. He is here. What an item. Unfreaking believable card. He's club 90 with, again, four play style pluses. And then it's either him or Gerard that you pick. Now, here's the ticket, right? Gerard's alive. By the time that we get to level 34, Gerard could have four play style pluses. 
if England score four goals, which is, I mean, pretty expected, right, of England. So it's going to be a tough choice once we get here to level 34. I'm personally thinking that Cruz might be the way to go. But what's nice about these cards being live is the upgrades happening up until this point, we might have a real decision on our hands here at level 34. But both of these, whatever you go, will be sick. But I think that Tony Cruz card, wow, just looks insane. And then level 35, you're crazy if you take the 88 times 5 players pack. This Pushkas is endgame, is broken, might be the best left stick dribbler in the game. 4-5 with finesse, first touch, quick step, and press proven. He's never going to lose the ball. He's got all but trickster of the ball control play style. So these rewards, these cards are absolutely awesome. It's one of those seasons, kind of like the World Cup season in FIFA 23, where... Um, it's actually worth taking the players, which is so fun. We absolutely love that. That's one of the best seasons, if not the best, that we have had this year. Now, really quickly to go through this, we do have a cup that is available. Check your club for German players because German players are going crazy. I think this is going to end up being a lot like during team of the season, how we had the league cups every single week. We have a nation cup here for Germany. It's only out for a week though. So make sure you get the German squad filled up. It's max chemist mode and um, get those games in. The rewards aren't that great, but it is good for XP. So you do have to get this one done pretty soon. The season seven plays out for a while. This one is not. And then there's also a mixed nations, Argentina and Canada uh, to get some extra XP there. I think everybody has a right now if you do all the xp that is available can get to like level four or level five so that's not bad that's actually a really good start for the first day of a new season now to wrap up yesterday's content i know i've been yapping a lot but there's just so much right yesterday we also had new rivals rewards that were put out and guys these rewards look insane ea also finally uh recognized that there was an issue with rewards yesterday uh, or with rivals right this is the division one reward upgrade they've got 92 plus all tots picks inside of here and we've got the 83 times five copa america and euro nations pack and also a 92 times three all tots pack so that 92 times three finally we see it instead of division rivals and then inside of foot champions we have re weekend league rewards that are updated again instead of regular 84 plus player picks they're one of three 84 plus euro nations player picks Picks, giving you an even better chance of packing those promo cards that'll be out today. And for ranks three and above, there are 83 times five Copa America and Euro Nation packs, along with the Ultimate Tots three players packs. They're all untradeable, but the Ultimate Tots cards are back in picks again. That's why I mentioned that they weren't going away. They're sticking around. And it looks like, guys, that the weekend league time frame is the exact same. The countdown timer is counting down towards two hours after content. So it looks like it's going to be the same schedule, which is a W. I'm glad they did not change it back. That is a W change from last year. Now, I mentioned that EA acknowledged the rivals issue. If you're not sure what was going on there, this is the EA tweet. Basically, they said that they realized that people in Division 1 were matching people in like Division 5, 6, and below. The matchmaking was like off. And that's why a lot of people were rushing to play rivals yesterday because the games were quote unquote easier as matchmaking was kind of like wide open and um, less kind of restricted to players of your level. So that has, I guess, been fixed. And now we are back to normal. What a day yesterday, guys. It was mad, and today hopefully can live up to that hype as well. I feel like there was so much hype yesterday with Path to Glory cards. Also into that was the leaks of the Path to Glory cards that we're expecting to see today on this game. So let's dive into that and talk about the icons and heroes that we might be seeing today as well for the greats of the game. Let's just start off by looking through leaks, guys, because there's like 20-some cards that are leaked right now between Copa America and the Euros. And we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of things that we're noticing from this, and I want to get into it. First of all, these leaks are crazy. Frankie de Young is getting a Path to Glory card. Again, for all these cards, stats are predicted. They are not confirmed. That is one thing I do want to mention. Araujo is coming as a Path to Glory player. We'll come back to him here in just a little bit. But guys, here's what I'm seeing straight off the bat. Some of these cards just had Team of the Seasons or Tots Moments card. Forget that, I guess. We're going straight from Team of the Season into this, which is Path to Glory in the Euros. And literally half of these cards already have a Team of the Season. Um, but EA is adding in the hype players. I know a lot of people are going to say, man, that's an L. Give us different players. And I kind of agree with that. Like, 
the Luis Diaz that we had in team of the season, he had 98 dribbling. So what are they going to do with this one? Probably just give him 99 and give him a little bit of a stat boost in the other areas. But it is live. And again, you have the different chemistry. So there's differences, but also similarities to some of these guys who did have team of the season. Alvarez is getting a live card for Mexico. And Tyler Adams is getting a card for the USA. I'm super pumped about this card. He's going to be cracked in game for sure. Um, and then we have Undav, who's going to be representing Germany. It is uh, thought to be that there will be at least one player for every single nation in Copa America and for the Euros. And some nations will have two as we look through the leaks and you see that. Now let's move on to a few more big names. Federico Chiesa for Italy. He's going to be getting a card. That looks like a pretty cracked he's card. He's always good in game. Kyle Walker. I think there might be three English players coming. Kyle Walker is one of the three. And again, you might remember he had this card in FIFA 23 as a live path to glory. It's a good shout out there from Weaver in this reply tweet. But he is getting a new promo card. It's been a little bit since we've had a Kyle Walker special. He's getting one. Julian Alvarez. He just had a TOTS SBC that so many of us did because it was super cracked. He's getting a live Copa America card. Again, the aspect with these cards too to think about is they're live. Think about the player, not for their club links, but for the nation links, Argentina big time favorites or one of the favorite teams in the Copa America. Bukayo Saka, another English player is coming as a path to glory, right? He just had a tots. He's getting another card. And we've got Joe Gomez. So three English players. I don't know if one of them is going to be an SBC. It would make sense if that were to be the case. Joe Gomez hasn't had a card in a minute. He's kind of a FIFA legend. He's had some really cracked cards in the past. But those are two English live players that are going to be coming. Romelu Lukaku for Belgium, along with Trossard. So two Belgian players there as well. Again, it's going to be a lot of mix of different leagues. I know they're going to try to maybe you know, try to mix it up and have a lot of Prem and a lot of Bundesliga and, you know, try to mix up the leagues. But it's really all about the nations here with these cards. Now, as we continue to look through a few more of these leaks and, and a lot of these cards, there's some other things to think about, right? How many of these are coming into packs today, right? Path to Glory Euros and Copa America. We mentioned it yesterday. The Euros cards kind of have to be in packs because the Euros games start next week. The Copa America cards wouldn't have to be because technically those games don't start until about six days later than the Euros do. So that's kind of the thought process I'm having right now. Are we going to get Euros cards today or is it just going to be is it just going to be Euros or is it going to be Copa America and the Euros? And then you got to think about the icons as well. That's a big question that I have. It really might just be the Euros cards today with the Euro Nation icons. And then Copa America cards next Friday with Copa America and icons and heroes. You know what I mean? Because Path to Glories in years past have been two-week or multiple-week promos. So that is something that I did want to mention. And as we take a look through and finish off looking through some of these leaks, how high rated are these cards going to be? Well, there's a little bit of a hint of that from one of the packs that we have. As we see, Kvaratskhelia is getting a card uh, representing Georgia. That's going to be one that hopefully gets some upgrades, but maybe not likely to. Saliba is going to be one of the French cards that is live. Again, another Tots card, and uh, he's getting a live version. That's going to be a really, really insane center back especially tracking the progress for the upgrades limer is getting a card and as is sabitzer they've done a dirty here with this dynamic image on this predicted card the dortmund midfielder and the bayern midfielder limer and sabitzer both getting cards there and then here's a bunch of other ones christensen for denmark is getting a card benton core for spurs who i thought about evolving which i guess i won't do now from his showdown card um, and then we've got vlahovic for serbia and we've got Antonio for Jamaica. That could be an interesting card for Copa America links. Um, so that's that there. We have Hinkapi and we have Kokju as well. We've already seen the Kokju, but we've got Hinkapi. Guys, there's so many cards that are leaked. Back to the ratings for a second. A lot of these predictions you see 95, 96, with some lower ratings being like 92, 93. I think there could be, especially if you look at the objective players that we had released yesterday, there could be some cards in packs today that are like 91, 92. But I think most of the team should be 93, 4, 5, and maybe one or two cards at 96 rated because a 96 rated card would be one of the ones that would max out at 99 rated if they were to go through and win the whole entire competition, Euros or Copa America. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there, ideally. And I think all the players are going to have to have three playstyle pluses as well. I don't think they can start off by giving these cards four playstyle pluses, especially if one of the upgrades 
is a playstyle plus. So I think they're all going to start with three PS pluses today. Now, one of the things we have to remember about these Path to Glory cards, whether it's Euro, Euro I, don't, I keep wanting to saying Europa, it's not Europa League, it's Euro or Copa America. Either of these cards today, we are going to be able to pack one of them from a guaranteed free Path to Glory global loan player. And EA just changed the pack code yesterday. Instead of it just being any, it's a 92 plus, which makes me think that most of the cards are going to be 92 plus anyway out of this team that's being, being released now remember this is not a normal lone player this is a lone player that has basically unlimited games they just expire at a certain date and that date is july 24th so we're going to be able to pack one today and we're going to be able to have one in our squads now i guess it's just up to luck who we get but that's kind of cool that we get to have a promo card released to us in a pack. It's always nice when the new promo cards that get dropped on a Friday, we have a chance to pack straight away. That will be a kind of like an untradeable version. It'll just be going away in a couple weeks time. So those are all the cards and packs. I mean, actually, that's not all the cards and packs, but that's just some of them, right? We didn't even look at the greatest of the games, icons and hero cards, because it's really unsure as to what's going to be going down with those today. But just to fly through a couple of the newest leagues, Diego Forlan, is going to be getting a card representing Uruguay. We've looked at Dog Leash. Like, guys, it, there's just so many leaks. I'm just scrolling through the leakers' Twitter accounts and trying to find all the leaks that we got for these cards. Uh, Balak has been leaked. I think we looked at that one. We saw the Pushkas. We have Vidic. We have Haji. We have Rivaldo. So I don't know how many icons or heroes we're getting today. I do still think it might be split up because if they don't split up Euros versus Copa America, we are going to have, like, 30 something cards 40 something cards in packs today guys and i don't know if ea want that i think they might split it up so that's just one thing to watch but all the cards that are getting dropped today are going to be live now i mentioned earlier that there was one card that we needed to go back to as we talk about sbcs there's two names that have risen to the top as players who might be SBCs today as a part of path to glory these aren't true leaks yet but this is just some rumblings and rumors this is the first one, Araujo. It kind of reminds me of last Friday, how we were all psyched about a end of an era Thiago Silva. He was dropped. He was decent. He wasn't that insane. But Araujo as an SBC would be pretty wild. Watch your Barcelona links today. If that were to be dropped as an SBC, that would be very hyped, and it could make some Barca links go up. As I took a look at the market a little bit ago, I'm already seeing some of these cards start to rise. Like Cancelo was 270, 280. I think he's now about 315K. Felix was under 800. He's now 900K just selling right there. So if Araujo is getting a card today, watch out for center backs maybe dropping because Araujo is a big name card, always very meta in game. And Uruguay have a pretty good chance of doing well in the Copa America competition. That could be a big center back a lot of people are interested in today. The other leaked name that's been floating around is Crespo. Crespo as an Argentinian icon. I could be there for this. I really could. Um, has Crespo got a special card this year? I know we had... All I can think of for Crespo is the fact that, that we had Romarino um, as like the Winter Wild Cards icon. Okay, we had a Future Stars Crespo. Right, of course. He was everywhere in icon player picks. If we're going to get Crespo card today as an SBC, I hope it's cracked. Three playstyle pluses could be nice. And of course, Argentinian, the potential to upgrade pretty high potential upgrade as well. So that's not um, a for sure leak, but that's just a name that's being thrown around for SBCs today. If we get a Raho, watch center backs. If we get a Crespo that's cracked, watch out for strikers as well, because those could be two good SBCs today that would be dropping in the game. And then for evolutions, we have a little bit of insider knowledge on this as well from a pack code that was added that we did once again mention in yesterday's video as well. The Festival of Football Academy Attackers pack. This sounds once again, just like an evolution that we had for future stars, where they give everybody the same seven players and we get to choose which one we want to upgrade, right? Remember that with the Jesus Feda, the Athenia, we touched on that on yesterday's video as well. This is the attackers pack. So it would be just the attacking players, probably with a correlating evolution dropped today as well. Now, that is a whole lot of content. There's probably going to be objectives and, you know, some more SBCs as well. Maybe a daily login. I don't know what else. You just, Sure, you're going to have your 83 times 10 refreshing today and stuff like that. There's going to be a good amount of that. Maybe even a couple other upgrade packs or two that EA dropped today to allow us a chance at maybe packing 
one of these cards. At least the 83 times 10 is refreshing, and the 81 plus player pick are going to stay around today. I think most of everything else is going to be expiring in terms of the repeatable upgrade packs. Now, I want to talk about the market, right? Because a lot of people are looking at ultimate team of the season cards and they're saying, yo, Nate, I want to buy Tots Messi for my team. He's low. He's under 3 million coins again. When am I looking to buy for these cards? Guys, the market was down bad yesterday. A lot of these cards hit lows that they have not yet seen before because of all the panic and all of the selling ahead of the hype of this Euros content and Path to Glories. Look at this from Pong. He went from 1.04 down to 850. Now, the lows kind of happened around rivals and content, rivals rewards and content, and the cards, they moved. They moved up back a bit, right? But I'm, I bet there's going to be some more panic today because these are live cards. And again, when I look at the Ultimate Tots cards compared to the rest of the market, they are so cheap. And I'm mostly worried about some of the rest of the market that is really not dropped enough yet. Remember last week on Friday, how we had Roberto Firmino and some of these other cards for Tots moments, they went up around the start of Weekend League because they weren't in supplied in packs because they weren't in Ultimate Tots. Firmino went from like 600K to 700K. I remember selling one, right? But then over the weekend, they tanked because Ultimate Tots cards got so cheap, it just dragged the whole rest of the market down with it. If the new Path to Glory cards come out today and they're semi-packable with, of course, three play style pluses and stats that are just as good, if not better, than some of these that have Team of the Seasons, like... It's going to hurt the rest of the market as well, and it could hurt some of these ultimate team of the season cards. That's what I'm worried about. I think that's going to be the biggest caveat to the market today. If the new cards are affordable and cheap-ish and semi-packable, that's going to add to the hype. People are going to be buying them and using them and wanting to go out and put them in their teams, especially with the links that they have. And I think that's going to hurt ultimate tots. Now, here's the flip side. If the cards that come out today are expensive and unpackable and really rare on the market, then I think some of the ultimate tots cards are going to shoot back up for the start of weekend league. And I think it's just going to be like last week as well, where you have some cards rise up for the start of weekend league, everybody going out, buying cards to play games for the start of that uh, competition and all the demand kind of pent up right around two hours after content. And then I think what you're going to see from there is maybe prices dropping off. I think regardless of whether the new cards are cheap today or expensive, the market will probably drop off three, four, five hours, more like five or six hours after content. I really believe that's going to happen because these Path to Glory cards, there's going to be so many of them. I just can't not see them impacting this game today in a positive way, um, especially with how many of the big players we saw are getting re-released. Big players, probably going to be juiced cards, higher than team in the seasons. Um, I think it's going to be impacting the market today, guys. So I have got basically all my coins liquid. I opened another store pack yesterday, so that is why you see my coin total down. I flipped the Kevin De Bruyne that I did have. And again, check your club for German players because the Podolski that I bought for 70k and completely forgot about for the last week went all the way up to 100,000 coins uh, because of the cup so check your club for german players that's the moral of the story there so i'm not going to buy anything until we see content that's just my way of going about it today and we're going to be watching things very closely from a market pers perspective today on stream i know you guys are really interested in trying to buy cards and time the market wow look at that felix back down to 860 i'm not buying unless he's under 800 but he is fluctuating um once we see how supplied the new cards on the market are today, we'll be able to make a call live on stream and say, hey, now's maybe a good time to buy some stuff or, hey, I think we need to wait. So we'll be watching that very closely today on stream. Watch the market there. And uh, yeah, I think fodder wise, I mean, it's kind of the same thing every single Friday, guys. Fodder cards, they just get supplied. There's going to be store packs today. There's going to be a lot of people opening packs. I saved some division rivals rewards um, just because I wanted to have something to open today. Not like a lot of packs, but a couple of 87 fours and uh, an 85 times seven. So that's what I did. But I think fodder is going to be dropping. But as always, in that second to third hour, when everybody's going to start play weekend league, that's the best time. If you want to stock your club with fodder, spend 10 to 15 minutes bidding on cards, putting them on your transfer list and putting them in your club. You'll be thanking yourself just like last week when I bought 88s for 6,000 coins and they went to 10K by Monday. Something like that could very well happen again this week of Euros and Copa America content. So it'll be a good time to get on bids then. Now, the last thing I want to mention, I got three random player picks to open here. Oh, by the way, EA fixed the the mistake here and the issue with player picks that like where you can't see who you're going to choose so instead of showing the little like box around the player where it was just like the outline now it shows this big white box 
and you can't see like if I would have popped up in this Calabria I would not have moved off of him I would not have known that he was already owned I think this is like it's a poor fix I don't know if EA can't figure out how to fix that little it's the little things like that that sometimes um like EA get right at first and then they then they mess it up and now it's just like okay why can't we fix that back to what it was before because the whole white box thing is kind of annoying compared to that little I don't know what you call it, like edges outline that it was before. But the other thing I want to mention in today's video is UFL, guys, because this game is dropping today on a beta. We played it on stream yesterday, and I want to talk about it a little bit. The full video, if you want to watch me playing it and kind of interacting with it for the very first time, it's on the second channel. I'll leave a link up right here. It was it was refreshing. That's the word that I keep coming back to, playing a different football simulator game. Don't expect it. Don't go into this because the beta is open today. It's free to download. Everybody can download it on new gen PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X. That's where it's available in the store. Don't expect it to be FC24. I think a lot of people go into a game like this and say, oh, it's they're comparing it to FC24, which is established game that has been out for many, many years. This is brand new and it's in the beta stages. There's still improvements to be made here. It was refreshing, guys, to play something that was competent fully licensed and a game that felt like you were really in control of, of what was going on. Like, honestly, I'm not just saying this because I got the game access early yesterday and UFL provided that for me. Like it, it genuinely felt like it was, it was different. It was a way different game. And I talk about that in a second channel video, but it was refreshing to try because it was something different. The menus were a lot different. They're not as um, involved as FC 24. It's a lot more simple of a game mode. And I'm sure that UFL has got a lot more they're doing with the game. Who knows how it's going to end up looking. But for a beta, I was I was surprised. I was genuinely surprised at how nice it was. The graphics are just as good as FC24, like the player scans and the player faces and stuff. This is something that throughout the weekend, I, I want to sit down and, and mess around with. Absolutely. Even in amidst all of the craziness of what is going on with uh, the Euros content and everything and the end of Ultimate Tots, like I want to sit down and play a little bit of UFL because it was actually... A pretty decent experience it also i think makes me realize how much i do appreciate some things about fc24 i know that we like to rattle this game a lot but i think it also does put in perspective how good some again i'm going to say this some of the things are on fc24 but just go play it for yourselves and go try it out it's not perfect but it's worth a try it's free on the uh, next gen consoles and uh yeah it's worth a try for sure so i am really genuinely excited about this game though today because there's no content in the world in terms of football video games other than this one right here with the objectives the spcs the evos the cards are going to come out today the correlation between the actual euro and copa america promos with these cards these menus are going to be pretty busy today guys and we're going to be breaking it down on on stream so if you want to check us out there that link is down below in the description sorry for the long video but there's just so much going on right now it kind of had to be long let's end with a 51 exchanger pack ea Bring back exchanges today and bring them back even better, okay? Higher rated, 90, 91 plus. If they don't bring back exchanges, that might that might spark another ride, guys. So I don't think they can afford not to bring them back. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for Count. See you there. Peace out.